And now weather with meteorologist T.J. Springer, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. The sunshine finally beginning to peek back from behind the clouds that we did have earlier on this morning. Still a fair amount of them situated across the, really the western half of the Show Me State and really across the upper Midwest, but still nothing like what we have been seeing out across New England. Still snow falling across parts of Maine and New Hampshire, Vermont. Still some lingering snow showers out New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York. So this system continuing to pull away, but we're not finished with it just yet. It's been a wintry last 36 hours or so across the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. Still some cloud cover in Branton, glancing over 76 Country Boulevard and historic downtown. We have some of that sunshine now, though, looking north and eastward from our tower cam here in Springfield, taking a peek outside your door, 29 degrees with that easterly wind at just over five. The wind's not going to be strong today with that area of high pressure situated to our north and east. It's going to help bring our winds back around from the southeast later on this afternoon, which is still a somewhat cooler wind for us. It will begin to become more rustic southerly later on for our Wednesday. Visibility is still a little reduced in some spots like in Branton down toward Harrison, Arkansas. We had some of that patchy fall this morning along with that low level cloud cover. Still, we have some of that this afternoon, but shouldn't be too bad if you are driving around the Ozarks later on in the next even hour. I think we'll be seeing improved conditions out there. Temperatures are still cold too because of that cloud cover. Look at these numbers 20s throughout Lake Ozark, Camdenton, Fort Wood, uh, Fort Leonard Wood, rather, uh, 26, 27 in Harrison. But we are beginning to warm on up to our south and west Fayetteville now in the middle 40s, closer to 50, heading out toward uh, northeastern Oklahoma. The winds are going to aid in that warmer air tomorrow, but now we even still have some coming in from the northeast as that air of high pressure situated just to our north and east. So eventually we'll get more of a return southerly flow, which will help our temperatures climb. But because of the colder air situated to our east, and that's where those winds are coming from, it's keeping us just a little bit colder. But all in all, we will be warmer. Of course, it's Groundhog Day and temperatures are expected to climb back above average to 47 degrees or so. And Pugstani Field did officially see his shadow earlier on in PA, despite the clouds and the snow, and that's his prognostication, six more weeks of winter, we're going to have that anyway, and I think we're going to feel wintry as we head through this weekend. Futurecast continues to show temperatures back into the 40s this afternoon. By 9 o'clock tonight, 30s, going to be a somewhat milder overnight, at least than normal. The, you know, especially what we felt this morning, too. By tomorrow, around 1030, I think we're back into the 40s for most of us. 50s expected by the afternoon. Clouds do begin to move back in later on tomorrow night as our next storm system moves in. And it's going to be pretty moisture start, but still going to have the potential for some showers along this cold front as it tracks on through the Ozarks. Cold air going to spill in behind it. Falling temperatures throughout our Thursday for sure. We'll end the work week, though, with some more sunshine. Here comes that front. I think by lunchtime it should be pressing through the area. Could bring a few showers, maybe some snow showers. If we can have that front hang along a little bit longer with that cold air crashing in behind it. But the Arctic front, another one moves in this weekend. That going to allow for a much colder air mass to take over the region. And we're going to have temperatures well below normal. Nothing like what they're going to feel down in Tampa for Super Bowl 55. Again, that's right here on Color 10 at Raymond James Stadium. I think by the time we kick off, temperatures should be near 69 degrees. Halftime we will be back in the mid 60s. Now, certified most accurate 70 forecast does show the falling temperatures Thursday, Friday, 45. Lots of sunshine. That system could bring a few snow showers Saturday by the afternoon and evening. Highs will only be in the lower 20s, Jen, by Super Bowl Sunday here in the Ozarks. Oh my gosh, it will be cold. We just have to bundle up for game day. Thank you, TJ. We'll stay with us up next to here.